I'm currently working on a model that is an attempt to explain the mental phenomena of uh, boredom, flow, and curiosity. Everyone knows what boredom and curiosity are, but um, f um, flow is a situation where you're getting pleasure in using your brain, and it would be a situation where it would be painful for you to think about something else. I'm, I'm doing this with a graduate student at Carnegie Mellon um, named uh, Zach Weitowitz. Um, there was the in the the paper with Zach is unusual in that we are using um, economic methods and ways of thinking to understand how the brain operates. And a paper that influenced me a lot was an earlier paper by um, Kurt Spann and his co-authors, um, which was a model, it was a, th a theoretical paper, uh, a, a theoretical model of, uh, they called it an opportunity cost of mental effort. So the, the question is, like most of what happens in the brain um, is not accompanied by a feeling of mental effort. Like for example, uh, vision takes up a huge amount of the brain, most, uh, uh, mostly back here, and we can be viewing the world all day and we don't get tired. But there's certain things that um, we do, like for example, if you're a chess amateur, playing chess can be very mentally exhausting. And so we take these types of mental signals like uh, mental effort, curiosity, boredom, flow, we tend to take them for granted. And this paper by Kurtzban et al. Um, just got me to thinking about um, these kind of hedonic mental states that are associated with thinking in a new way. I don't, um, I don't actually believe that their model is exactly on target, but it really um, got me thinking about the problem and thinking about the idea that you could use economic um, ideas from economics to understand the way the operation of the brain. Well, kind of continuing with the earlier theme, I think the question of um, why the brain produces these different types of hedonic mental states associated with thinking, like, for example, again, boredom, curiosity, flow, the feeling of mental effort. I think that's a really interesting and important riddle. And it's especially important um, in the modern age where, like for example, so much of effort nowadays, so much of work involves mental effort rather than physical effort. And so we really need to have a better understanding of what makes thinking pleasurable or painful. I'm George Lowenstein, and I'm a professor of economics and psychology at Carnegie Mellon University.